Fear the Worst is about a car salesman named Tim Blake. Now, car salesmen are not typically heroic figures in thrillers, but the kind of people I like to write about are just ordinary people. I don't write about cops or ex-military people or private detectives. I write about ordinary people who get caught up in extraordinary situations, and that's what's about to happen to Tim. He sells cars in Milford, Connecticut, and his daughter, Sydney, who's 17, is coming to live with him for the summer. He and his wife have been split up for a few years. Sydney has found a job at what I would call a one-star hotel in town, and she's been heading off to work for the last couple of weeks. One night, when Sydney doesn't come home, Tim becomes increasingly anxious, and he thinks maybe she had to work a double shift, or maybe she's gone out with friends, something like that. But when he can't raise her on her cell, he decides to finally go to the hotel and see where she is. But when he gets to the hotel, not only has no one there seen her, no one there has ever seen her. So now the question is, where has she been going for the last two weeks when she said she was going off to this hotel to work? Where is she now? And why are some very, very bad people trying to find her? Tim is going out every single night. He's, he's driving around malls. He's going everywhere he can to try to find his daughter. Very odd things start happening. Uh, his ex-wife says that there's been somebody parked down the street who's been watching the house. None of it makes any sense. But the one thing that's becoming more and more clear is that the people that are trying to find his daughter are very dangerous. And if Tim does not find Sydney before they do, he's going to lose his daughter forever. <laughs> 